So ayan, so good morning BSIT from uh, Pamantasang Lungsod ng Valenzuela. Um, I am Professor Edna C. Bijones. I am, or I will be your lecturer for the subject Reading Visual Arts. So I am very happy na BSIT lang yung hawak ko ngayon for Reading Visual Arts. I mean, iisang program lang yung hawak ko. So mas madali ating i-adjust yung yung Um, subject basis sa pangailangan ng mga uh, ng ating um, students. So again, uh, welcome BSIT 11, ganun din sa BSIT 12, 13 at ayun lang, tatlo lang naman kayo. Okay, so um, uh, just a short uh, um, description about myself. No? Uh, I am a graduate of, polit- um, of broadcast communication from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Kung hindi pa kayo, kung hindi nyo pa ako kilala. and a graduate of master in communication um, at PUP Open University so ayan uh, i used to work as a producer writer uh, for solar sports and solar entertainment corporation no siya yung sa isa yung um, um, company na naghahawak ng ETC Second Avenue Jack TV yung mga time na meron pa noon NBA Premium at Basketball TV or BTV na tinatawag. So, um, uh, currently, I am working as a lecturer for um, for Pamantasan ng Sundang Valenzuela. And I used to work uh, in PUP. No, kaka, kaka, alis ko lang doon. Ganun talaga. Uh, I have to do that para magkaroon ng focus. No? At may mga, um, mga needed din akong gawin sa buhay. So, ayun. And uh, welcome to the Reading Visual Arts uh, subject. Uh, this is a, sabihin nga nung iba, this is a continuation of MIL, a continuation of environment technology. Pero uh, again, this is more on the visual arts that we have. Uh, yung, yung syllabus ng subject is um, para siya sa kumbaga, pagbabasa. No? Pagbabasa nga ng mga visual arts, more on the painting, focus ng painting. But since you are uh, IT, uh, medyo modify natin siya para maging, magkaroon ng relevance doon sa, doon sa unit, uh, doon sa inyong program. No? Um, ayan. So, let's go to the slide. Um, parang may mali doon sa aking settings. Teka lang ha. Um, okay. So, ayan. So, again, uh, the subject, the, our lesson for this week is the understanding the realm of visual arts. And, um, siyempre, we want to know bakit ko ba kailangan o kaya, bakit nyo ba kailangan na matutunan o aralin itong reading visual arts. E, IT kayo, no? So, yeah, so let's discuss yung yung lesson natin for this week. So, sabi natin how we we will start with a definition of the visual arts, no? Um the visual arts are art forms that create works that are primarily visual in nature such as ceramics, um drawing, painting, sculpture, printmaking, design, crafts, photography, Uh, video, filmmaking, and architecture. So, these definitions should not be taken too strictly as many artistic disciplines. Performing arts, conceptual art, textile arts involve aspects of visual arts as well as arts of other types. Also included within the visual arts are the applied arts such as industrial design, graphic design, fashion design, interior design, and decorative art. So, now... Uh, sabi ko nga sa inyo, in the past uh, semesters ng uh, teaching ko sa, re- sa PLV, um, I'm teaching this subject for, uh, nakafocus doon sa mga painting, no? But, uh, uh, painting, uh, sculpture, basically the art na, ano natin, uh, the, the fine arts na tinatawag natin, na focus natin, Okay. So, kasi ganun yung definition ng visual arts. But um, for the purpose of uh, uh, being you as a information technology at inahanap nyo pa yung sarili nyo, kinakapaan nyo pa yung sarili nyo, ba't nga ba nag-IT, di ba? Na-inlove kayo sa Mobile Legends, na-inlove kayo sa Dota, 
may Dota pa ba? Ay, may Dota pa naman. Dota 2 na. Oh, so, na-in love kayo sa computer, sa games, and, um, uh, well, so, I, I, I took, so, you took the BSIT for that. And, alam ko, kinakapaan nyo pa sarili nyo, pero okay lang yun. Um, and now, we want to put relevance doon sa, sub, sa program natin. And, isasal pa ko sa inyo na visual arts is very important for BSIT, and I, especially, not, just for BSIT only but for everyone no uh, visual arts are very important because this is art or this is uh, the art that very uh, that concerns no yung, yung visual in nature lahat na nakikita ng mata no as long na, bu- na hindi ka bulag eh, you need to understand you need to clearly read visual arts ganun siya kahalaga so Ayan. So, we have the definition. No? It's a primarily visual in nature. So, mapaseramic man siya. Paint, painting, photography. Ayan. Pero napakalawak ng visual arts. And uh, we need to understand the real meaning of this visual arts for the purpose of um, uh, to, be, to be effectively um, participate doon sa society na kinabibilangan mo. No? To effectively participate doon sa um uh, or, or to be, to be contributor doon sa existing na ecology ng ng information and visual arts uh, no matter where you are no kahit nasa Pilipinas ka no we have the Instagram we have the social media yan uh, they need visual arts they, they need something visual no and they contain visual con- uh, contents Uh, na you need to understand, uh, you need to uh, uh, critically understand para maging maintind, ma- magamit mo and as well as to contribute in the future doon sa, sa existing, this, these existing uh, ecology na tinatawag natin. No? So, now, moving on. So, saan yun? Uh, this is the visual arts that we see. No, this is the visual arts na common sa atin. We have the architecture, we have the paintings, we have the um, uh, 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 installations, de ba? So yun yung yun yung visual arts na alam natin. But but again, we should not um, focus dito or or. or Uh, limit yung definition o yung visual artist yung visual art sa mga bagay na to because visual art is very uh, compound no very very uh, wide topic di ba napakalawak nung kanyang sakop no anything na nakita ng mata na appreciate ng mata at nakita ng naiisip o naintindihan ng isip we can call it the visual arts so now what is the relevance or what is RVA or anything visual arts relevance Uh, to information technology no kayo ay IT so ano yung relevance nung bakit ko kailangan i-take itong reading visual arts no IT ako tapos art di ba parang ang, ang baduy no but again again it's very important because of one ano because of three things no several things and I include ko yung tatlo number one is the user interface no if you are familiar with this no kayo ay IT and sooner or later you will um, experience this or you will take um, subjects about this the user interface or the interfaces di ba IT kayo programming no um so yun yung isa ito sa mga mahalaga na bagay na kailangan yung maintindihan and reading visual arts will help you uh, to understand the user interface na tinatawag natin sa mga programming uh, sa mga program na ginagawa natin sa mga apps na ginagawa natin so ano ba yung UI sir so yung UI is ayan pag binigyan mo IU no crush mo yon um yung UI is user interfaces or the access points where users interact with the design no when you open an app no there are buttons there clickable uh, navigation navigation bar draggable di ba naka timed uh, yung kanilang rotation yung kanilang carousel those are user interface no nakikita nung ating mata and we interact with that um sabi ko nga sa inyo no uh, why we ha- why we you can 
when you go to websites and there are cookies, di ba? Bakit may cookies? Akala mo pagkain yung cookies sa sa website. But it is more of um, information gatherer ng isang website o ng isang application. The cookies are very important because they are the one that records yung interaction nung user doon sa uh, website o while nandun siya sa website or while using the app. So, graphical user interface, uh, users interact with the visual representation and digital control panels. The computer desktop is GUI, voice-controlled interfaces, yung v- VUIs, and interact with these through their voices. So, may mga voice navigation, uh, voice command, di ba? Hello Siri, yung mga ganun. Uh, why do you have those? Ayan. And, because of the voice navigation, yung uh, voice controlled interfaces. Ayan. Uh, again, user interface no, are the access points. Baka maiba kayo kasi we have also what we call the UX or the user experience. The user interface, uh, interface are the access points. These are the buttons. These are the pages. These are the scrolls no, ng, ng isang application o ng isang website that you control, you click. Diba? And while interacting with this, while while clicking or dragging those um, buttons or draggable items, uh, it creates changes doon sa website or doon sa app. So, uh, kaya sa tinag na access points. To access these, you have to do it. You have to uh, click it or you have to drag it. So, again, meron tayong GUI, meron tayong VUIs. Ayan, natitawag. So, uh, in a simple or on a, on a graphical uh, manner, no, ito yung nakuha ko sa, sa internet. Ayan, we have this kind of uh, cycle no, uh, or pattern sa pag pinag-uusapan natin yung uh, user interface. No, we have the human, the brain, and we have senses like the as the the eyes, the uh, the eyes, the ears, the hand, the ba, the the touch. Yan, and we get yung, yung dalawa dito, yung yung actuators are yun yung ginagamit natin to access uh, the access points to click or to to uh, manage these access points. So we use the hands for keyboard for typing we use the mouse the gamepad the joystick and of course for the GUI uh, VUIs we have the voice no and in uh, yung voice hindi yan ma-capture ng devices kung walang microphone so uh, ganun yan and yung senses natin yung ating mata yung ating tenga at yung ating kamay uh, di na kapag usap yan sa ating mga devices through our uh, sabi nga display di ba yung reason kung bakit ka merong actuators but yung mata ay um, hindi pa kasama sa actuators because ngayon pa lang naman nagkakaroon ng mga ano nag, ngayon pa lang naman nagkakaroon ng mga yung sa nadedetect yung eye movement no ngayon pa lang naman yan pero technically the, the hand and the voice yung pinaka actuators natin kung ibabalik ko doon sa concept natin ng cookies no ng ng website sa kanang app yung mata mo hindi kayang i-check ng website or ng app kung saan ka nakatingin but but your hand gestures no yung mouse no kung saan nakatapat yung mouse are recorded by the cookies para alam nila kung saan ka interested no the reason kung bakit Uh, ganun yung, lo- yung logic lang dyan is kaya ka naka-mouse over o naka-hover doon sa isang item because you are reading it. No? O kaya parang ginagano- ganun yung kanyang concept. Kaya yan nandyan kasi binabasa mo yung bahagi na yon So, yan yung reason kung bakit uh, kapag uh, may clinic ka, di ba? At, at um, teka lang, may clinic ka and then binasa mo yon or or, or no pin mo yon ganun uh, sa mga susunod na araw yun na nang ganun ganun na lang ganun yung makikita mo no uh, parang sa las- parang parang sa Shopee parang sa Lazada no uh, again the Shopee the Lazada is that an application na magsasuggest sa iyo na magsasuggest kung nang kung ano-ano ang gagawin nila sa Ada and Shopee, they will record kung ano yung mga past purchases mo. Kung ano yung mga past na sinur- search 
mo, na, div, na, na items, ano yung mga clinic mo, ba? Diba? So, uh, from that, yun yung i-recommend nila sa'yo. So, ganun din yung concept doon sa mga website. The more clicks, the better. ba? Diba? Kasi nga, uh, through clicks sila nila naiintindihan o yung, yung gusto ng user. So, yan. Uh, let's continue the discussion. So, um, the user interface, ito yun. No? Uh, this is an example of user interface. Ayan. Um, again, this is an art. No, this is the visual art, and kung hindi to visual art, you will not be interested, no, uh, in, in clicking these buttons. You'll not be interested in in um, applying or for uh, filling up these uh, text required uh, holders, de ba? Uh, itong mga areas kung saan ka nagta-type, di ba? Hindi mo sasagutan 'yan kung hindi 'yan art, kung hindi 'yan pleasing sa iyong paningin, no? And uh, by by creating the designing the buttons, designing the the backgrounds, the font styles, uh, color schemes of these applications or websites, di ba? They gather nakakuha sila ng mga user na gagamit ng kanilang device. So Ayan. So, may mga buttons. Again, the buttons or the access points are the user interface. Huwag kayong ma- ma- ano dun, malito. Because bukod sa user interface, ayan, we have what we call the user experience. Pero sabi nga rito, balikan natin to bago natin puntahan yung user experience, UI should always also be enjoyable or at least satisfying and, uh, and, and frustration-free. Ayan. When your design predicts users' needs, they can enjoy more personalized and immersive experiences, delight them, and they'll keep returning. The, uh, where appropriate elements of gamification can make your design more fun. Okay? So, bakit natin sinasabi ito? But, uh, but uh, mahalaga to. Dito kasi papasok yung reading visual arts. No? Uh, in reading the visual arts, if you um, properly read or, paano ba? Effectively, design no the the visual arts it will be frustration free no uh, you can predict if you think clearly kung paano yung design mo sa iyong mga application mga future application future projects di ba if you can predict the users uh, need di ba you can design uh, appropriately doon sa pangangailangan ng mga user no ng iyong um project. So, yan yung reason, no? And reading uh, before you go to designing the the art or the the user interface ng iyong program, you have to carefully read muna yung mga past experiences ng user. Ano yung gusto ng user? Ano yung ayaw ng user? Ano yung masakit sa mata? Ano yung okay sa mata? Ano yung maganda sa paningin? Ano yung hindi? No? Um, again, uh, this that is part of reading visual arts. Uh, and if you um, paano ba? If you go to the subject, the reading visual arts, if you continuously learn through vis- reading visual arts, magagamit mo yon in the near future in designing. No? You can read, therefore you can do. Ganun tayo nagsimula. Ganun yung cycle nun. Hindi You cannot create design without reading or understanding the, the concept, understanding the pattern, or what is to do and what is not to do. Okay? So, now... But, uh, but natin pinag-uusapan yung what is not to do and need to do because that is what we call the user experience. So, the user experience is the holistic journey users traverse as they use a product. So, if you go to a website, you begin with this, after that, you go with this, this, and so on. So, yun yung journey na tinatawag natin. Di ba? Pag-open mo ng app, Pupunta ka ng timeline, uh, for example, the Facebook, di ba? You go to the timeline, you have certain navigation bar to 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 um, to go, di ba? To click, 
para makapunta ka sa ibang pages, di ba? So those are the journey ng 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 user. And it is very important for the BSIT to understand the user experience kasi um hindi ka pwedeng gumawa na ng program at one page lang tapos yun na yun, no? Uh, may experience na tinatawag. Hindi mo pwedeng bigay lahat. Sa unang tingin, bigay lahat. Hindi pwedeng ganun. Uh, there should be a journey, no? Uh, for the user. Bakit? Ba't po sir kailangan ng journey? Kasi pag walang journey, yung, uh, you know, yung user sa, sa ginawa mong program o ginawa mo sa yung app, di ba? Para siyang ano, it will be boring, no? At, Imagine a game. Imagine a game na one page lang siya. Yun lang yun, di ba? You cannot navigate, navigate to to other parts ng program. Di ba? Para ka naglaro ng, ng RPG tapos hindi gumagalaw. Di ba? So, yun yung reason, no? Um, holistic journey is very important kasi it creates, uh, it is also... Uh, creates identity para dun sa program na ginagawa mo. The, the better the journey, no, the, the, the sweeter the journey the users feel while using your application or your program, the, the more they will return and you continue using it. Diba? Mas masarap sa mata yung program mo, mas masarap sa, uh, sa pakiramdam while using ease of access ease of usage nung, nung program mo, um, the more na gagamitin nyo ng user. So, not only does it include their direct interactions with the product, but also how it fits in with their overall task completion access. So, regardless of whether different aspects of experience are under the direct control of the product or are merely associated with the product, the total experience is considered part of the UX from the user's perspective. Every touch point between the customer and the company is included in the total user experience. So, yan yung galing kay project plan, productplan.com. So, now, para mas malinaw, no? paano, paano po sir yung user experience? So, the user user experience or designing user experience, uh, again, di, ito yung mga dapat, ito yung pag-uusapan natin sa buong semestre. How will we develop this surface, the skeleton, the scope, and the strategy no? ng, ng user experience and user interface? No? Um, now, we will uh, sooner or later... Um, we will um, learn or, or tackle about the different theories na pwede nyo magamit para yung user can uh, navigate or can see through dun sa inyong uh, mga pro- program ng mas, ma- mas maayos, mas, uh, mas smooth kumbaga. So now, what is US- UX design? So the... There is a surface, though we have the skeleton, scope, and strategy. So, surface is the UI design, UI and design system, or the graphic design of a program or or um, or application. So, yun yung pinaka naikita ng mga audience mo. Now, there is a skeleton, a skeleton, kasi it's a information architecture, no? A prototyping layout design. Um, kapag pinindut mo to, saan ka pupunta, de ba? Uh, for example, doon sa iyong sa login page. Punta tayo sa kabilang slide. Yan. So, dito, meron kang, meron kang get started. Meron kang full name. We have the phone number. Enter OTP. Ayan. Those are access points. no? And you have to fill that up para um, para mag-proceed. Di ba? Or you can proceed without you you have a choice no na kahit hindi mo yan um maklik or fill upan pwede kang mag-navigate sa iba so for example the OTP di ba ano mangyayari diyan uh, this information architecture kapag ka-click mo yung and uh, pag nilagay mo yung full name and you fill up yung phone number ayan tapos send mo yung OTP ano mangyayari yung one time pin di ba may magte-text sa so, ang gagawin mo, you open mo yung message, you get the OTP, you type here the OTP, and then click the get started. So, ibig sabihin, meron ka ng paglalakbay na nagyari doon kasi you click the full name, you type, you click the phone number, you type, di ba? Uh, now, you 
click the OTP, send OTP, dumating yung OTP, naglumabas ka dun sa application, tapos binasa mo yung message, and then you go back to the application, ayan, before, and then type yung, ano, i-type yung OTP, and then click the get started. So, ibig sabihin, meron kang one point to another, ayan, one app to another, ayun, lumalabas-labas ka, no? Yan yung tatawag natin na uh, architecture, no? Or skeleton, information architecture. After clicking this, saan pupunta si user? After clicking this, saan pupunta si user? Pag-click ba ito, saan siya, saan siya kasunod, no? May choices, may mga ganyan. Um, information architecture yung tawag natin dyan. When you also have the scope, ayan, uh, the product road mapping or versioning and prior, uh, uh, Prioritizing, uh, uh, prioritize, uh, ano pa ba to? Prioritize, mali yung ano? Prioritizing. So yung prioritizing, kung kayo ay familiar with, uh, uh, kung alam ko na experience yan sa Facebook, you watch a video, no? You watch a video, and then in the middle of the video, merong advertisement, no? Now there is, uh, there are advertisements that are skippable, no? Uh, skip, may skip button, you can skip, meron namang iba na walang skip button, meron namang iba na napaka-iliit nung X para lang ma-close mo yung, yung advertisement na yon. So, those are the scope na tinatawag natin or the product road mapping or versioning o kung ano yung dapat i-prioritize, di ba? Uh, that's the reason kung bakit may mas malaki sa design, uh, balik tayo dito sa, ano, sa kabilang slide. Makapansin mo, the buttons are in a certain color for example here my rumors ibig sabihin pag naka naka blue siya siya yung open siya yung active we have the get started button here the logos di here bakit ganyan kalaki yung logos compared doon sa um, get started button bakit um, may malaki yung logo no those are the reason because uh, the reason behind those are Uh, prioritizing ano yung dapat na unang makita ni user, 'di ba? Sabi nga natin, we cannot control the users. We cannot control the users. Ano kung kayo ay IT, you cannot control the users wherever kung kung ano yung gagawin niya while using the app. But but you can suggest, no? And you can suggest by creating priorities, no? The larger the button, mas mas yun yung kiklik no meron tayong na encounter minsan na namamali ka ng click namamali ka ng click kasi parang we have moments na dull moments natin um you are just uh, working on a uh, um ang tawag doon uh, kumbaga ku ano yung system mo system working alam mo yung para autopilot yung autopilot without thinking ito yung gagawin mo no like, may may ganun ba yung na experience uh, isang umaga di ba inu nagising ka na alimpungatan ka and then there is an advertisement you buy di ba you add to cart and then dum dumating na lang yung delivery di ba so the reason behind that because of the suggesting na nangyari no ikaw ay vulnerable pag gising mo na umaga, vulnerable ka, wala kang nasa, wala ka sa wisho, di ba? So, you just continue clicking on things, on on random things hanggang sa mapunta ka sa um, add to cart and, and payment whatsoever. So, nangyari yun because of the prioritizing na tinatawag natin sa, sa UI design or sa UX design rather. Okay? So, Uh, another is the strategy, yun na, yung design facility, uh, facilitation, design sprint, yan, formula, and customer journey mapping. So, pag sinabing customer journey mapping, yung may mga, may, may beta, bago, bago lumabas or mag fully functional yung isang application, it goes to a beta, beta, uh, beta version. No? The beta version is where Um, the program is being tested by several users no? or introduced to several users para magkaroon ng customer journey mapping. 
no? Kung ano yung ano yung um gagawin o paano ginagamit ng isang user yung program. By that, they can uh, manage the design, no? Saan yung prioritize, saan yung movement ng mata, ano yung kini-click, ano yung mas kini-click, alin yung hindi kini-click, 'di ba? Asan yung daliri kapag ikaw ay nag-scroll, 'di ba? May ganon, no? Um Ayan. Um, now, ito yung design nga na sasabi natin. Again, the UI or the buttons or the access points. What the user experience is the how the user, no? Uh, the, this is user experience, the journey of the user from the start by opening the program up to the end, no? Yes. Closing it. So, last is the visual content. Yung sample natin. Um, visual content, you need to understand reading visual arts because of the visual content creation. Taka lang. Ayan. So, we create contents, became a contributor either to inform, educate, entertain, and socialize. Ang gusto talaga nung... Gusto niyo talaga marinig yung boses niya sa, sa ano ko eh, no? sa, sa recording ko eh. Okay. So, we create contents, became a contributor either to inform, no? Um, tandaan niyo, the, the, as an IT, uh, you will become a contributor sooner or later. Pwede namang bukas, contributor kayo agad. Be Lagi naman, ganun naman tayo. So, um, you you inform, you educate, you entertain, and socialize. So, if you can read reading, you can read visual arts effectively. No, most likely yung content mo, most likely yung yung contribution mo doon sa ecosystem of art, ecosystem of information, no, na existing like the Facebook, the social media we have. Diba? Mas magiging effective. Ayan. So, that's the reason. So, because we we create content. So, we need to read content or read visual art because we create visual arts. Okay? So, now, we go to the uh, debugging some myth here. No? Debugging the myth. So, the myth of the starving artist. So, the problem here is that there is an existing uh, myth sa Pilipinas, no, sa mga pamilya ng mga Pilipino. And ano yon The concept of the starving artist. Anak, ang art, walang pera dyan. Ngayon yung sasabi ng magulang. Di ba? Walang pera sa art. Drawing, drawing. Di ba? Kung ikaw ay isang architect, uh, architecture student, ikaw ay graphic artist, ikaw ay photographer, Diba? Your family most likely don't get the point why why you're doing that. No? Walang pera dyan. Walang pera dyan. Talaga ba? Yun yung question doon. So, talaga bang walang pera doon? So, now, we go with the yan, yung common misconception about artists in the Philippines. There's no money in art. No, walang pera doon sa sining. Walang pera sa visual arts. Walang pera sa painting. nag ka lang ng pintura. Sabihin sa'yo ng magulang mo. Pero, actually, pwede. It happens, no? May time. Pag nag aksaya ka lang talaga, pero hindi aksaya yun eh. You call that investment. ba diba? Nagsimula ka pa lang sa, pic, sa pag-paint. Nagsisimula ka pa lang sa pag um, i-edit. ba diba? So, this, that is an investment. Learning is an investment. Um, you invest time, you invest certain materials, Uh, you invest certain um, raw materials, de ba? Na later on is mababakinabangan mo naman. You learn, de ba? Yung learning yung mahalaga, de ba? Ling maubus yung bagay basta may natutunan ka. So um, sabi nga natin, there's no money in art. Yan. People are other most people in the Philippines believe that there's no money in art. But poetry, sabi nga, de ba? The, but poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. The art, the visual arts, is the reason why we stay alive for. Diba? Uh, because we want something to share. We want something. We want to create something to share. We want 
uh, to create something that people will appreciate, di ba? Motivate other people, di ba? So, yun yung reason um, why we pursue art. Ayan. So, it's not just about the money. Although, later on, may mga pera naman talaga. May pera naman. Ako nga, nabuhay ako dyan. Di ba? So, now, uh, we have a story here about the famous artist who benefits from art and the story of Michelangelo. Are you familiar with Michelangelo? Diba? Uh, Andiyan pa ba kayo? Andiyan pa ba kayo? BSI 211? Ayan. Okay lang kayo? Ayan. That's good. That's good to know. Okay. So, the story of Michelangelo. Michelangelo here is uh, I'm pertaining to the artist, the painter, the Renaissance painter. No? So, ayan, sabi dito, I don't know how much you know about Michelangelo, and, but usually they taught us that he kind of struggled like Vincent Van Gogh. So, during 1995, an American professor, Rab Hatfield, made an unusual discovery at uh, Syracuse University in Florence while he was trying to match the scenes of the Sistine Chapel to the dates Michelangelo had painted each of them. So for centuries, the historians believe that about the great Renaissance master Michelangelo was just another starving artist, struggling to make ends meet. So Michelangelo himself embraced his image, living frugally and often complaining about money. He once wrote in a poem that his art had left him poor, old, and working as a servant of others. So, madaling salita. Um, si Michelangelo itself, no, he himself um, created an image, no, na ay ang artist ay mahirap, walang pera jan. Uh, oh, sabi nga left him poor, old and working as a servant of others, de ba? But it turns out that he was not telling the truth. No, kasi sinungaling pala sa Michelangelo tungkol sa concept na yon, no, no, uh, na, na mahirap, na walang pera doon sa art. Yeah, because when Ralph Hatfield dug into old banks bank records, the truth about the Renaissance's most famous artist was finally revealed. He was not struggling at all. He was not poor and he was not starving for his art. A fact we have been getting wrong ever since. So si Van Gogh pwedeng struggling, starving, and but but hindi si Michelangelo, no? Ikaw ba naman yung magpaint ng ng Sistine Chapel, di ba? Ikaw yung nag- mag-paint nung, nung ceiling noon. Di ba? So, Renaissance's most famous artist was in fact very rich. Napakayaman. One record professor had felt found showed a balance of hundreds of thousands of dollars which was rare sum of money for an artist at that time. So, ayun. So, let's all forget about the Sistine Chapel. And while Professor Hatfield went to see if there were more bank records, and there were more, ma- and there were more, so many more, in the end he uncovered a fortune worth roughly forty-seven million dollars today, making Michelangelo the richest artist of the Renaissance. So, yung concept ni yung, yung image uh, building, oh, para ba image shown by Michelangelo as a starving artist is bluff no it's a joke it's a prank dear no so prank yon kasi mayaman pala siya isipin mo yung 47 million dollars at that time ay you know today today daw diba ngayon nga magkano yon pero nung time pa kaya na yon so napakayaman niya so, making the richest artist of the renaissance so bakit na but minsan uh, but may ganun tayong konsepto sa Pilipinas no sa I don't know kung existing din to sa ibang bansa no hindi naman natin yon pwedeng ma 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 test or ma maaral no so but but may 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 um opinion here is the artist they create a starving artist idea to um, minimize yung population ng artist during the time no uh, kung konti lang yung artist di ba kung makokonvince mo yung mga tao na wag kayong mag-artist magiging konti yung fish in the pool no kapag konti yung isda mahal yung isda Ganun yung concept diyan. So, I, I, I think ganun yung nangyari. Bakit dati uh, oh, bakit ang daming YouTuber ngayon, 'di ba? But ang daming daming ano, ako nga minsan nag-YouTube din ako, charot. 
<laughs> okay, but ang daming umuusbong ng mga YouTube content creators, 'di ba? Because that is that is a that is a visual artist, no? They are visual artists, 'di ba? Uh, kasi ngayon na lumalabas na yung konsepto na mayroon naman talaga, mayroon pera sa sining, no? Um, and malaki yung pera sa sining. Imagine a world without art. Imagine a world without without these contents. ba diba? Kahit basura yung mga content ng iba dyan, uh, ng mga content creators, okay lang yun. ba diba? At least meron ka napapanood. Imagine a world without those. ba diba? uh, Pero imagine a world na merong sense yung pinapanood natin ng mga YouTube contents. ba diba? Mas mas okay siguro yung yung future natin. Ayan. So, it's not about the money at all. It's about the the contribution. Uh, did you contributed uh, an essential no a, a essential um, um, content for for your audience your the people surrounding you so it's more about that so now um, let's go to the uh, uxplanet.org and uh, this is the um, these are the top agencies of user experience ayan So, ano yung makukuha natin dito? Yung makukuha natin dito is sino-sino ba yung mga best designers or mga pinakilalang mga um, creators ng mga user experience or mga user experience designers na ng mga applications or programs and magkano yung kinikita nila or magkano yung budget sa kanila uh, or mag- meron bang pera sa kanila just to prove na meron pera sa kanila. Okay. So, yan. Teka lang, mayusin lang ako. So, now, uh, we'll, go with, we'll go to the uxplanet.org. And this is the, um, the, the, the website. So, we have the, um, the top 5 UI UX design agencies in the world. Ayan. So, Now, unahin natin yung Clay, you no? Know, Clay Global. Yung Clay Global, when we click to that. Ayan. Ito yung kanilang ito yung kanilang portfolio. Ayan. So they are they created, they are the designer of the Facebook, no? Na the u- user experience designer ng Facebook, the Google, Joe and the Juice, the Slack if you're familiar with that. Diba? The Coca-Cola app. Then, the Zenefits. Ayan. Enterprise UX, Manilayan, and so on. So, there are many more na sila yung gumawa. So, ba natin sila pinag-uusapan? Ayan. Um, so, the um, the agency is located in the San Francisco, California. Tawa? CA, California. Okay. So, the key clients are the Slack, Facebook, Google, Credit Karma, Coinbase, and Coca-Cola. So the budget for those applications, no, for designing those applications is hundred, hundred uh, k, hundred thousand dollars, hundreds of dollars, no, for a team size of 55 employees. Imagine that, no, kung kung 55 lang kayo, 100 k per per project, magkano yung bawat isa? So, ganun ka laki yung kita sa user experience designer. So, if you are um into um para ba? Into, into art, into designing, 'di ba? Try UX design, 'di ba? So, actually this is uh, um para ba? This is the future of design. This is the future of design. Paintings, yung paintings you do paint. Pero now we have digital painting. No, the museums are closed, 'di ba? But we have digital museums, we have digital tours to the museums, um, just to experience those things. No, diba? we have the virtual reality. So, technically this is we are all going. So, um that's why I I have decided to uh, manipulate the 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 subject the program reading visual arts into more it ish na 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 ground like the user experience and user interface okay so uh nonetheless i hope you learned something today 
no thank you so much for uh, uh, watching or listening to my um to my lecture okay so for the uh for all the student na hindi ko kasama sa synchronized class ngayon uh, please watch this video thank you so ngayon may papagawa ako sa inyo as a proof of learning no um president please help me in in making about the groupings no arranging the groupings ayan so um president ano yung papagawa ko muna yung papagawa ko po is um it is an activity or it is an interview no a, a, a group interview to an artist so you should have to find an artist pwedeng painter or designer graphic designer Ayan, wag naman yung kaklase nyo lang, no? Wag naman yung I mean, hindi ko naman siya nilalang. Wag naman yung kaklase level, yung ganun. Try to reach some someone, 'di ba? Um yung mas may ano, mas may mga mas matanda-tanda ng konti. Wag naman yung kaidaran nyo, 'di ba? So, kasi pag kaidaran nyo, marami pa siyang matutunan. So, you have to find an artist kahit anong art ang ginagawa niya, sculpture, Um, painting, mga ganun. More on the visual arts, ha? Baka naman dancer yung, yung ano nyo, yung, yung piliin nyo dancer, o kaya ay singer. Sir, artist din naman sila. Eh, hindi ko kailangan ng ganun. Ang kailangan ko, visual artist. No? So, visual artist, find a visual artist. Okay. Pero, don't worry, this is a groupings, no? Um, ang groupings is um, uh, minimum of um, I guess nine students, minimum of nine students, maximum of thirteen uh, students per group, no? Um, gusto ko magtulungan kayo. Alam ko mayro mga klase kayo na katrabaho. Alam ko na may mga klase kayo na uh, part time or gano na sa tindahan or whatever. Um, please um, reach them. May pagawa ka sa kanila, no? Do make make something for uh, as something from them na may gawin so that they can contribute and then the rest kaya naman natin siguro ninyo. And um sana walang pabigat, no? Alam ko naman mga IT kayo. So, alam ko marami akong kakilala sa inyo na puro laro lang yung naaalala ko, 'di ba? Naglalaro lang naglalaro. Wala namang problema doon. Diba? As long na nag-meet niyo yung pangailangan. So, now, again, President, please help me in arranging the class. No? Pwede naman sila yung mamili ng kung sino kagrupo nila. Uh, make sure lang na walang may iwan sa grouping. So, again, nine, minimum of nine students, uh, members, nine members per group. Maximum is 13. Uh, I think kung kayo ay 45, makakagawa kayo ng around 4. No? na 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 groupings para dito no and the group again have to find an artist a visual artist and then interview no uh, simple lang yung tanong no um, um, as about what is uh, life of being a visual artist no so Paano yung buhay? Paano yung buhay ng isang visual artist? So, di ba? You can... And, and from that, pwede na kayo maghanap ng topic. Like, ano yung daily activity? Pwede yun. Ganun. Daily activity ng isang visual artist. Ano yung inspiration ng visual artist? Bakit siya naging visual artist? Ayun. So, pwede kayong mamili nun. Bakit? Ba't mamili lang po kayo? Kasi 10 minutes to 15 minutes lang yung video na kailangan yung gawin. Interview, no? Ang gawin nyo is gumamit lang kayo ng Google or Zoom para interviewin siya. O kaya messenger, no? Pwede naman yun, yung room. ba diba? Tapos i-record nyo yun. And then, yun na yun. I-submit nyo na sa akin. No? So, um, hindi naman kailangan siya ng, hindi siya kailangan ng editing, na sobrang editing. Okay lang nga kahit raw eh, no? Simula ng recording, end ng recording. Okay sa akin yun. Walang problema sa akin yun. Hindi naman ako nag, ano, nagbabase sa pinaka maganda. Ang pinaka ano pare is yung laman, no? Kailangan nga may laman. <laughs> Sabi nga nung isang motivational speaker. 
Anyway, so gano no what is about what uh, as about how or how, what is a life of an of a graphic artist or of, of a visual artist. Yan. So kahit anong aspect ng buhay niya, mamili lang kayo, no? Mamili lang kayo. Okay, so kailan po yung submission? Yung submission po is on the next meeting next week, no? Yan yung ano natin, one week yan. Kasi nga groupings yan. So seven days from now, um, seven days from our meeting, yung ating uh, submission. Okay? So kung meron kayong tanong, feel free to ask doon sa ating group chat. Diba? Doon tayo mag-clarification para masagot ko yung inyong mga clarification. Okay? So, I will stop the recording. Thank you so much for listening.